So there's some irony in this video, I suppose. This is the GORUCK Bullet Rock 15 Kaiden Edition from, well, Karyology. Karyology is a, a online publication that talks about carry and all things carry. When I got into this whole YouTube thing, the the publication I actually read the most or paid attention to the most was Karyology. So this video is an interesting one, certainly for me. Um, I have a trip. Um, a sh I'm doing a kind of a commission for street photography where I have to take so many photos within uh, each month for a, a kind of um, an exhibition at the end of the year. Uh, and I'm, I go to Seoul to take photos for that. And I'm just going to show you how I'm going to pack this bag for that trip. The mood of this video might be somber. It's not meant to be somber. I mean, look at the color of the bag. <laughs> Nothing somber about that. Now, this is just a very regular bullet 15 aside from the color. Um, quickly, I, I don't want to get into the specs of this bag per se. Um, I have really very much enjoyed it. And uh, it was a gift for my wife for my transition. Uh, it's a slick version of the bullet, so you don't have any molly webbing here. It's made in RVX 25, which is a 250D faced um, material, X pack material uh, in this blaze orange. AquaGuard zippers has a number eight AquaGuards on the front and back, and then uh, a number five on the top and patch field, and that's kind of it. Otherwise, it's very similar to your standard bullet ruck 15 top handle and all. So for this trip, like I'm gonna stay there for two nights. I know the bullet ruck seems like a small bag for that type of thing, but you know, I think it'll do the trick for what I need. Now, uh, I forgot to take these out before I started the video because like, wouldn't you have it? I actually unpacked to do this because I thought it was a good time to do it. So uh, this is a Nedrolo sleeve in the back here. I actually don't have my laptop because I don't need it for this trip, but normally if I have it, I put it in here. This thing makes every bag a laptop bag, so works great for that. I just have my cable. Um, I can show you for posterity. There's my uh, hand sanitizer, and this is a, a cable. This is a cable winder um, also from Nedrolo. Just kind of has some magnets, keeps these things together. I love that company. Lots of great stuff there, so I'm happy to have stuff from him. So I'm just gonna put that in the mesh pocket here. This is a 15 liter bag, but it packs like a lot bigger than that, I find for my own personal um, use. Uh, so I have a 10 liter packing cube here. It's not super stuffed, but it's pretty stuffed. Um, has enough clothes and emergency stuff for a couple of days um, if I need. So that just kind of slots right there in the bottom. Um, my toiletries are in this uh, Dan Matsuda pouch. Uh, it lies pretty flat and can work as a sling if I need it to. My tech and all my like whatever I'm gonna hopefully maybe not need but probably will need uh, lives inside this Philip Raboke custom pouch that he custom made for me. Like look at all those details. It is, I don't know, is it focusing? Yeah. So very cool, this pouch, and it goes with me everywhere. So those those three pouches fit in there perfectly. I could lay this one sideways if I wanted to, but I'll keep it like that. In this top opaque pocket here, um, I'm just going to put my wallet. Um, I carry this uh, thing from Alpaca. Uh, it's like a hub, thanks Kirk. Uh, there is a, um, I have a, an Alpha 1.9er wallet I keep in here, a pen, and uh, a Swiss Army knife, and that's all that really lives in there. But it's basically my wallet. I'm gonna put that in the top pocket here. Uh, also in that top pocket, I'm gonna have my headphones, cause you know, headphones, you need them. Keep that there. And then last but not least, I just have a little pouch. This pouch actually just holds um, like batteries and stuff for the camera I'm gonna take to use for the trip. So that also easily fits in there. You can see it says uh, Bullet Ruck 15. It's a bit heavy to show you, but you get the drift. And uh, that should close up pretty easily, I would think. The zippers are really smooth on this bag, considering they're AquaGuard. 
There you go. It's uh, packed. Front pocket here, I mean, like all Gorux, it can be a bit tight. I don't tend to use it too, too much. So I'm with my car key all the way down in the bottom here so that I can actually, it's kind of a hack, I guess, but I sling and just press the button from inside here. Uh, my mask, because masks are still a thing. Put that there. And then, uh, the main reason I'm taking this bullet is because of this pocket. Now, I don't love the quick access pocket that much these days because it gets in the way of the laptop compartment. But since I don't have a laptop, what this works perfectly for is my camera. Now, I'm shooting this project on a camera you might know, but probably might be shocked. Um, I just, I love this camera for street photography. Very easy to use and, uh, you know, what you're used to works. A uh, nice dispatch strap there. So that slots perfectly in this pocket here. Now this leads me a little bit to uh, the main point of the video since I am completely packed up now. So I could have probably shown my face in this video and the main reason I'm not is because well I'm a little bit nervous and I don't want to get emotional. This is probably going to be the last um, straight bag video on my channel. Um, for the foreseeable future because now you can see me somewhere else. I'm, I'm doing videos for Cariology. Uh, I'm one of part of a group there and if you want to follow me or you want to see anything related to bags or carry, you can catch me over there at Cariology. I'll be making tons of content and you'll be able to see me. My first two videos already dropped. One is an introduction and one is a huge 45 minute long video about modularity and about packing for a trip just like the one I talked about. There was a, I mean, so many people have helped me out doing this channel. I know I don't have that many subs and all that kind of thing. It's not a huge thing, but I did feel like I, I wanted to thank, you know, everybody that's been here since the beginning. Lots of people have been following me since the very beginning, sent me stuff to review, sent me really rare crazy bags to review, helped me out by, um, you know, just the... Uh, uh, camera gear or or tips or whatever thank you all I very very much appreciate it and you can definitely still find me I'll still be making videos and all of those things as for this channel going forward it's not gonna die I think I'm going to start doing some other content on this channel related to things like photography I think I'm gonna do a bit of photography stuff if you don't know I'm a photographer too and and that's my main kind of gig so you can find me um, over on Instagram and see a little bit about how that's going. Uh, it's been a bit of a weird couple of years for that, but I'm getting back, you know, full bore now. Um, aside from that, I'll probably do a little bit of family life stuff, some travel, some vlogging, and some gaming, because I, I do love some games, and all that kind of stuff. So that's it for me for now. Again, thank you all for... Uh, being along for this amazing ride. Kaiden Bullet 15.